In this video, we travel from Pendleton, Oregon to West Yellowstone, Montana, over 20 days in August. Temperatures ranged from the mid-90s to the low 40s. We camped in Washington, Idaho, and Montana at six different places, driving over 900 miles through a lot of mountains with grades from 6 to 10 percent on a lot of narrow, curvy roads. We were very happy to find that our Ford F-250 diesel was up to the task. I needed four-wheel drive just once, and that was due to a muddy road going uphill from a full stop. In Washington, we camped at Fish Hook Park, right on the Snake River. The amount of freight moving on trains and barges continued to amaze us. We drove through miles and miles of wheat and apples. Our next stop was Riley Creek Recreation Area in Idaho. It was another great Army Corps of Engineers campground, right on the, don't mock my mispronunciation, Pend Orel River. The propane grill hookup we have on the Outdoors RV is not as good as what we had on the Thor Axis, which had a better location and a quick disconnect fitting. It was cool seeing this seaplane practice landings and takeoffs from the campground. Next, we drove up to Whitefish, Montana, which is just south of Glacier National Park. We mooch docked in our friend's front yard for a few nights. Glacier was on a reservations-only system, so we could not visit there. Whitefish is an upscale ski town with lots of charm. We saw a black bear run across the road as we were leaving town. Since we needed to wait in Whitefish for our trailer license plate, we wanted to camp near our friend's house. They suggested Tally Lake Campground. We even drove out there first to check it out. It's first come, first serve only, but they had some open sites. Tally Lake was not that far from our friend's house, but there were several miles of dirt road with some washboard. As you can see, the area is beautiful. We had our first driving incident just as we approached the campsite we wanted. Another learning experience. We couldn't carry everything with us in the truck that we wanted, but I'm really glad I had that saw. Well, right there's the corner we got stuck on. There was plenty of room on the other side, but Rhonda, you know, just didn't judge that corner perfectly. The road is real tight, but um, once we got out of there, we got backed into the site relatively easy, and this is exactly the site we wanted, 32. There's a water faucet right there if we need it, and right through the trees there is the lake. We enjoyed the week we spent at Tally Lake with its beautiful scenery and great hiking. We did this mountain hike twice. It was a little over three miles round trip to our campsite and back. The lake water was pretty cold. We're hiking up Trail 804 at Tally Lake Campground. I think we're going to go up and have a view of the lake. We will see. Here we go up the hill. The views of the forest and lake were beautiful from the top of the hill. The most fun part of the trail. So we just finished Trail 804 at Tally Lake Campground. It was wonderful going up. Coming down was a little steep. We did see some beautiful deer, and Joe almost stepped on a snake. Um, but it was, um, and I guess it probably took us about two hours to do the whole hike. Yeah, we'll look at the first picture I took of the sign. Yeah, and see how much, yeah. But so. it was uh, challenging on the way down. Yes, it was, yeah. Okay, bye. Oh man, I'd have a heart attack. Too cold? <laughs> Refreshing. Our Montana friends came to visit and we rented canoes, but didn't take any pictures of that. But we had a great time on the lake. While I never got to see a moose, we did see lots of other wildlife. There were a bunch of rabbits. Rhonda really loves those rabbits. Well, here we are. It's Monday morning. We're about to leave Tally Lake Campground. We spent a whole week here been fun it's nice 
The only downside is no cell phone data at all here, zero. But um, in that week, we ran the generator about, well, it's at 5.3. It was at about one, so about four and a half hours during the week. Over in the evenings, we'd run it to um, make coffee and cool off the RV. But other than that, and so we've had no problems with electric. The black tank is not full yet. The front gray tank is pretty full from washing dishes. And the rear gray tank is not half full from not taking showers, but we took some. But there's a nice swimming area here too. We filled up, mostly filled up the fresh water, but with the 100 gallons that we have, we lasted the whole week, no problem. Rhonda coming out. Got the inside all set up. Outside, we're ready to start getting ready. And we'll go to the dump station, which is in the campground, but we have to pay $5. But overall, um, it'll be 75 bucks for a week. It's not a bad deal. Rhonda's sister had lived in Sealy Lake, Montana, and we'd visited there a few times, so she wanted to go through there again. We found Placid Lake State Park and spent two nights there. It was a pretty lake, but a very crowded camping area, mostly for boaters, it seemed. Also, it rained most of the time we were there, so we just chilled out and enjoyed the sunsets over the lake. Well, we're leaving Placid Lake State Park in Sealy Lake, Montana. It rained yesterday afternoon a little bit and all, most of the night. Funny thing happened leaving the state park. We, um, there's like a three mile dirt road. And we're going along very slow and see two black leveling chocks on the side of the road. And I'm like, those are just like the ones we have. And as I thought about it, and as we kept going, I'm 99.9% .9 sure those were ours. I may have left them on the top of the truck when we left the last campground where we had used them. Our last stop before Yellowstone was near Helena, Montana. It's a real city with real shopping, which Rhonda was missing. We found this free campground on Campendium. We had pretty good data, and it got to take care of a few things that needed doing. I filled one of the propane tanks for the first time. It was easier than I had expected. No pictures, but it was under $3 a gallon, just about a mile from the campground. Well, we're about 30 miles south of Lake of Helena, Montana, the capital city. We had to stop there to do some stuff. And we've been boondocking out on this Montana Department of Wildlife land for the last four nights. We're about to leave. As you can see, it's very pretty. One of the lessons of boondocking. And there's a few other people here, but there was a guy between us and that tent that ran his generator pretty much all day long. That travel trailer over there, he moved. You know, some of these people more or less live here. That little camper, apparently they've been here a month or so, waiting for a house to open up for them in the area. But overall, everybody's been real friendly and nice. For the time we've been here, average running the generator, 35, 40 minutes. Really just <laughs> ran it yesterday just to charge laptops. When we turn on the generator, usually you want to have a load so we used to have the air conditioning when we first got here because it was hot so we'd have the air conditioning and turn on the electric hot water and then you could do whatever with outlets but since it's been cooler the last few days Rhonda's been using her space heater some so we're putting the slide in we had some good rain last night Yeah, Rhonda's big issue now with the RV is that 
that topper really collects a lot of water. Therefore, a lot of weight. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.